My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It has no value to you, but it has great value to me and the dogs I'm gonna be rescuing in the future. Let's get right into it. All right, so wanted to start off by saying thank you. I have not made a video in over like a year. I made a video a couple days ago and I uh, appreciate everybody watching and commenting on it. Seems to me like everybody uh, is appreciating, I guess, that information when it comes to investing and types of things, leverage. Um, so go ahead and check out that video um, that I just made. Uh, it's a pretty good one, so I, I think so anyways, and um, it has a lot of information. That's a win-win situation for us. I'm giving you guys this information um, for obviously subscriptions and, and things like that to uh, get my dog rescue going. So uh, we'll talk more into that obviously throughout these videos, but um, that's my goal here. You know, I made a website and I'm starting a crowdfunding here in a little bit. Just got to make a video. Man, it's harder than it sounds to make a video. So anyways, let's get into the market here. Uh, Bitcoin's at 91.30 and Ethereum's at 233. Took a nice little downturn here uh, over the nighttime. Uh, I was sleeping and it was up here and then it went down and now it's starting to do a correction. So uh, that's a great thing. I missed the bottom, I guess, last night. I won't say bottom, but you know what I mean, a low point. Um, it was at like 9,000 and I did want, I'm waiting to buy some more Bitcoin. So I'll let it ride up maybe two, 300 bucks and then I'll buy some silver or gold with it. You know, that's just what I do um, or hold it. You know what I mean? The rest, whatever else, I, I throw it in my crypto.com app or something uh, to get it to work for me. Uh, so moving into here, you know, I, I don't even know how Tether made it to number three, but it's obviously been here for a while and uh, it, it's just amazing to me. But, you know, the U.S. dollar and the dilution, you know, something's going to have to come and take place of the dollar. And Tether, USD coin, you know, one of these coins is really going to take over as the actual digital dollar. So something to think about. I don't like Tether. I think it's a scam. But it kind of makes sense that if everybody's going to move away from the, you know, American U.S. dollar because of dilution, which is coming, you know, I'd say after the presidential election, but it's coming. Um, they need to put their money into something and they don't want to play markets, you know. So Tether and USD coin actually... Stable coin only goes sideways, only stays around, you know, a dollar, just just like our American dollar. It goes up and down a couple of pennies, you know what I mean, every now and then. So um, something to, to think about, you know, when it comes to that. Uh, like I said, I didn't think Tether was a scam back in the day, and I thought it, and it was just because, no, you know, it had no use. But now I see the use in it because it's a transition. You have to move people from paper currency to digital currency like cryptocurrency. They want something stable. So that's definitely a stable coin to have. Moving in, let me get my big fat head out of the way here so everybody can see what's going on. Uh, moving in here, uh, like I said, I'm looking for a place to buy Bitcoin. You know, I bought Bitcoin, I think it was uh, right around here. You know, 91, 92 is when it started moving up. And then of course it's now doing the start of correction. So it's, you know, 91.30 right now and it's going down. These are day charts because, you know, this is long term. I'm thinking of, you know, not short term holds. So, you know, I'll, I'll buy it for low and I'll let it go up a little bit. Then I'll, you know, buy silver or something, but I still have Bitcoin. So I don't want to sell it all or, or use it all. So, um, you know, it goes up here and then I can use it. And regardless, I keep it, you know, whatever's left over. So, you know, wanted to touch in on the Fibonacci here as what I'm looking at when I'm trying to buy in with, especially with Bitcoin because of these huge swings that Bitcoin has. But it looks like it's starting to be um, uh, mirrored with the S&P 500. So that kind of tells you a lot with the trading and investing going on using Bitcoin and Ethereum, but mostly Bitcoin, obviously. So let's look into the, the 100 and the 10 MA. And you know things I changed around here, just so you guys know, MACD, I put it at 4 and 40. And it actually tells me better buy points and better sell points to get in and get out. They're a little tighter. So it kind of tells me which direction it goes without getting me in the percentage trouble. So moving into that, as you can see, it hit a buy or a sell point um, right after the green, this little green candle came up, hit the 10 MA and it didn't break it. So 
kind of caused a little sell point there, and now it's kind of going down, and it's having a little fight going on. So again, with Fibonacci, um, I'm looking at the last high and the last low obviously was in March, so it took a big drop, and you know Bitcoin came back to where it, it stable basically before the big crash in March, and now it's going sideways. So it, to me, it's a precipice. I don't want to buy in right now because it seems kind of weird uh, the way things are moving. This is on an incline. You know, this hasn't really been on an incline, so it, it's it's odd the way things are moving, and it's at a sell point, not a buy point. So is it is the the 100 MA going to act as a magnetic effect away, or is it going to cut through and then push it away on the downside? You know what I mean? It doesn't work like that, but that's just the way I, I kind of throw my lingo out there so you guys kind of understand, I guess, the directions that I'm looking at based on the indicators that I'm using initially. Um, so the bottom, the, the last bottom to kind of the last high before that last bottom, it's kind of riding right there on this six, uh, the seven, eight, six line. So that's, you know, again, precipice, you know what I mean? Is it going to, you know, magnetically go back or is it going to cut through the seven, eight, six line, cut through the hunt? You know what I mean? So right now I'm kind of at a precipice of, man, I, should I get in? Because it seems like you know, if everybody starts being fearful, the market seems to do the other thing, the other way, because, you know, investors aren't stupid, you know, um, uh, seasoned investors in stock market cryptocurrency. Like I said, Bitcoin is now kind of mirroring the S&P 500. So uh, something to think about, you know, stock and crypto, it's starting to converge and it's a good thing to see. Um, Case in point, Coinbase exploring stock market listings. So they've been talking about this for a while. And of course, they say Coinbase declined to comment. But you know, you go around, you start looking at other news feeds when it comes to Coinbase and the stock market. They're going into IPO. Um, they'd rather go straight into direct listing on an exchange, you know, to make it kind of fair because that's what, you know, cryptocurrency is about. And they really want to keep that um, motto uh you know, going. That's our whole business model is to, you know, get cryptocurrency going for everyone. And they really want to do it that way. But, you know, they got to figure out what they're going to, how to do it correctly. Companies worth $8 billion. And that was in 2018. Crazy. I mean, good to see Coinbase is coming around the corner and, you know, some other big guys are coming around the corner. And I'll get into that here in a little bit. Um, I wanted to show everybody this Bitcoin and friends. Bitcoin and friends is freaking funny as hell. Uh, they don't have many episodes. It's probably like five episodes. They're only like 20 minutes long, but they're freaking hilarious. And it really shows you kind of what's been happening, I guess, from day one with uh, cryptocurrency and um, uh, the inception of it. You know, Nakamoto, Satoshi, and it, it's just funny, the, the spin they have on it. And but yet with truth, you know, underlying um, per coin and things like that. So it's kind of funny. Uh, I would suggest what you know they don't they don't pay me nothing I just suggest you guys watch it it's freaking hilarious and anybody I would say it's not really for newcomers they're not going to get the lingo and the things that are going on uh, a lot of it but it is funny you know regardless there's you know it's downplayed a little bit for the masses but still you got to know what what cryptocurrency is so moving forward uh, you know I'm talking about brave and the brave uh, platform you know just like google you know you can get on google it uses google everything is used it's just the platform um uh like google chrome i guess i would say and uh you know just looking at things and just using it like i usually do it every day like i use google chrome you know i i one day i had three bat you know i just thought i keep forgetting to open up my brave browser and actually use it besides google chrome um but something to think about, you know what I mean? I look at ads. I just do everything that I do. You can contribute on a monthly basis if you want, or you can just add, obviously just you know, rack it up. So I mean, you know, this is like a day, and it's 25 cents a bat right now, so it's going up. Um, something I picked up too is a publisher, since I'm a YouTuber and um, you know I have Twitter and I have all this other stuff. You can sign up and to publish content to the web. So I have my own website, I have a YouTuber, you know, Twitter, uh, Reddit, things like that. You can tack onto this. So when you create uh, something and somebody actually looks at it, just like anything, if they're on Reddit, but they're using Brave browser to do it, um, 
and they go on Reddit and they click on your stuff, then, you know, you're going to get a little bit of bat, you know, if they uh, want to contribute to that, um, just in a general sense. So passive way of making bat or cryptocurrency, nice to leverage, you know what I mean, just the platform. And that's, you know, really what it, you know, Brave is all about too, you know, it's to get the cryptocurrency out to the masses and move it around. So here's another article, Play, uh, PayPal plans to roll out crypto trading and storage. You know, when you see PayPal and Venmo, you know, are starting to go into cryptocurrency, okay, it's getting mainstream now. Because when PayPal picks up and Venmo, the users will then have that, you know, more trust in the cryptocurrency uh, that PayPal and uh, Venmo are keeping them safe, you know, from that. And, you know, because blockchain keeps PayPal and Venmo safe, that's just the easy uh, avenue of money for them. And I think Venmo has already rolled it out. And I mean, they're making like 300 million or something. And I can't remember what this says, but yeah, something about 300 million um, in, in the last, you know, two years or something like that, or a year since they've rolled it out. Square uh, is also doing it too. It's the competitor. And they have been doing it since 2018 um, with the Cash App uh, customers. And they made $300 million with Bitcoin purchases and transactions in rev or in sales. So, uh, you can't deny that it's working, you know, it's simple as that. Uh, wanted to go over to crypto.com. I did pick up, uh, they sent me my credit card, basically, my debit card. And it's a cool looking little debit card. You know, I want to show you guys, it is the actual, the 1% one, because I got it when it first opened. So no staking of MCO, anything like that, no rebates, no airport, no nothing like that. But you do get you know, no credit card uh, percentage, you know, fees, nothing like that, and 1% cash back on everything you get. So it's a great little card to have, you know, Let's see if I can show you guys real quick. I guess I can show you guys my big head real quick and show you, you know what I mean? That is my card right now. So uh, I'm getting the steel ruby blue one when you stake 50 coins. So it's kind of a cool thing to have um, moving forward. So Keep in mind, crypto.com, I, I really push it. And, you know, I have a link on the description. Obviously, I'll get 50 bucks uh, if you stake 50 bucks. So and then you get a free 50 bucks as well for being a new user. So it's it's all in one win win situation. I'm always looking for win win situations. I mean, why not? You know, it's simple as that. So uh, moving into my website real quick, you know, I just wanted to show you guys that I updated it and yep that's just telling me that I have somebody logged in which is me uh, or clicked on to my website and I want to show you that I am sh I am uh, selling some of my collectibles that I have purchased and man those are some really bad pictures there we go um, but yeah so uh, just want to show you that I did uh, uh, selling these things you know this is a star silver note imperfect cut and imprint and as you can see on this side that it's, you know, badly cut it or imprinted. And if you look on the other side, it is just these fat, fat, you know, out, outer uh, perimeter here with no ink on it. So it's completely offset. And uh, looking into it, it's actually worth 300 to 350 bucks. But I'm selling it to you guys for 200 and you can buy it with Bitcoin. Now, this is something, again, you can leverage um, using, you know, Bitcoin with this is, you know, to pay with Bitcoin, please use this link. And then you just click on this link and it'll take you to Blockonomics. Um, here, let me get back there. I'll actually just click on it so you guys can see it. Uh, and then you can just put your information in here, put how much the uh, uh, item is, you know, the SKU number, and then pay with your Bitcoin. And boom, I will send it off to you. No problem. It, it's, it's great. It's a segue away from adding to the card. Because, you know, Wix apps and any uh, Wix websites and anything that you create a website on, they won't let you do uh, transactions through their cart unless you purchase the actual Wix website on a monthly basis. Well, you know, like anyone, I don't want to pay for something if I don't have to. So I've kind of found a way to figure out a way to get through it is if you want to pay with Bitcoin, boom. See, you know, you can just click on this little, I guess, gray button here. I can't seem to change the color, but I'll, I'll figure it out sooner or later. Um, and you can get in here, pay for it. I'll send you an invoice, all that good stuff, you know, just like anything. And that's what it looks like. So I just started it, um, but it's the wallet watcher. So I can actually look in here and find out who's pending transactions, you know, just like any other drop shipping or anything. But I'm selling my collectibles that I think uh, 
well, I will profit off of, you guys will profit off of, and you can hedge against the upcoming dilution of the dollar if you guys want to as well. So um, good things to see. Start some good. That's my project uh, that I'm uh, starting a crowdfunding on Start Some Good for my dog sanctuary. So just wanted to touch on it again. It is, I'm very passionate about it, and I'm going to be getting it going. I just got to make a video. And, you know, it's harder than it seems to make a video nowadays. So uh, moving in forward, crowd holding, like I said, I, I usually put my two cents. It's just a platform to where people will put something on here, and then you put your two cents on here. And if they like what you think, you know, and it's, uh, they'll give you some coin or something. This one's just a, uh, you know, if you get someone to, to, to use this platform for donations, new donations, uh, cryptocurrency donations for nonprofit organizations and thing, if you do refer them, then they'll give you a ton of freaking coin. Uh, or I don't know what coin it was, but it's a ton of coin. So I'm just looking into it. But, you know, it's something that segues in with my uh, crowdfunding, start some good this would be great, reinventing donations, so then I can donate. Once I become a 501k uh, nonprofit organization, then I can start doing this. So it's a good thing to see. You know, I wanted to just point it out. Cryptocurrency is coming everywhere, and everyone's picking it up because it's it's self-man. It's easy to use, easy to set up, and then it's automated at that point after that. So last but not least, Crypto Fear and Greed Index. Uh, as you can see today, 43, yesterday, 44, not much change, and last month, 39. So it's going up a little bit after the month, and that is a good thing to see, actually. We want to see that. We want to see it go up. You know, This is what gets me weird is look at all this. That's the uh, crash in, 40, in March, and now it's just kind of up and down, up and down, up and down. Nobody knows where it's going just because everything is wonky right now. So let's just stick to what we know. And that is the, we're printing money like there's no tomorrow. The dilution rate is, com is coming. Everybody says we're in a market bubble. Um, so, you know, if you are in the stock market, go into blue chip stocks. Other than that, you know, you guys have a great day. My name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Please smash the like button, hit the bell, comment below. It has no value to you. It's great value to me. Dogs I'll be rescuing in the future. You guys have a great day. Keep up the grind.